know how to make your GoPro footage into a real blockbuster? Well, in this video, we will show you how to create a cinematic GoPro video using VideoProc. Keep watching! Hi everyone, this is Carol. Welcome to official channel VideoProc. If you are new to video editing, or if you run into shoes while editing your GoPro videos and don't know how to fix them, don't worry. Today, in this tutorial, we will walk you through the following 10 steps and teach you how to edit a GoPro video from scratch. Before we jump into it, make sure you have set up video proc in your computer. You can find the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get started. First thing first, import and back up all your GoPro footage into your computer. Launch your software. The project panel will pop up automatically. Create a new project. And here you could customize the project name, project location, video resolution and frame rates. If you are after perfect quality, feel free to select 4K 30fps here. Now click up this button to create a new project. This will bring us to a main interface. To start our way, we are going to build a mood for your video. Obviously, the best way to do that is to add background music. Clicking here, find one or multiple pieces of music that you want for your video, together with the footage that you are going to build a video from, or simply drag them all over and drop them into software. One feature about the system is that it supports all sorts of GoPro videos, regardless of formats and codec. To uplift your video, one of the tricks is to work on the video length, transitions, and the beat of the music. Well, go to your media library, upper left, run over your footage, and pick out those that could create a cinematic sequence, and drag them to a video track. Since we only need just a small part of this clip, hover the time runner here and click the split button in the toolbar. Chop up the unwanted footage or right-click the clip and choose Split. Try following the same steps to split other footage. While shooting with GoPro, you could go with different folks to get some desired footage. Sometimes it works just fine, but sometimes it gives you a distorted image that leads a lens correction. Well, select the flawed ones and choose the lens correction top right corner here. You can see right away that the images have been escalated. And within the tab, there's lots of different parameters like camera, camera view, transform that you can work with to get what you want for the result. GoPro incorporates a Pro 2 option which could enhance the footage quality that you capture with GoPro and unlocks a whole new extended feature. And yet, it works even better with VideoProc for post-color editing. But how will we make that happen? Well, select the clip and turn to a 3D lots in the corner editor. There are a bunch of options and pick one you want to apply in your video. Or skip the part and customize yourself the parameters on the right. This can put on really good quality and cinematic image in your video. Follow the same steps to colorize the following clips and to make your video more appealing. With wide angle lens of GoPro, you could capture some fantastic actions, but yet, it still needs some post processing, like this footage. Well, clearly it was shot in a fixed position. Let's try fake the camera movement and see if it can make any difference. Select this footage and click on the motion button. In motion editor, you can find a basket of presets. And I'm gonna go with faster zoom out. Click add. Here, you can notice there are three keyframes. Adjust the time of each keyframe sitting at, together with the frame size it directs to. Then, 
I'm gonna add a move right effect. Similarly, adjust the parameters of each keyframe so that you can get the camera moving to your right. And that's it. Let's take a look at it before and after. Much better, right? While going through different kinds of GoPro videos, you should notice literally every video involves a slow motion effect. How should we make that happen exactly? First of all, make sure you shoot your footage with high frame rates like 16fps or 120fps so that you could create a desired slow motion video with the best quality. And here in this footage, well, it seems there is really nothing particular. So let's give it a transformation. Choose a clip, open the speed panel, where you will see a bunch of speed presets. Choose one preset you want to work with. And I'm gonna go try this one. Adjust the time and speed of the keyframe. Here it is. And let's see the comparison. Ooh, that is pretty awesome. Find a clip that you're going to work on. But first, we need to detach your original soundtrack from the video. Right click it, choose Detach Audio, and the soundtrack will be automatically placed into your audio track down here. Click the soundtrack. You can hear clearly the white noise around this part. Well, find the audio editor and open it. Click the effect bottom upper here. And it offers a quite amount of filters to adjust your audio. We go straight to Deloitte's option and adjust the parameters. Click Apply. Here it is. And you can also remove the soundtrack entirely and keep the background music only. And to get rid of the original soundtrack, you can simply delete the audio track and mute the video track. Then, add a background music that you want. Speaking of the background music, that is what we're gonna do next. Find the music that you have put in the media library earlier before. Put it over to audio track. Select the music. And turn to volume settings up right here. Drag the slider bar to set fade in. And fade out effect for your music. Or you drag the slider bar to adjust the volume. That will upgrade the acoustic level of the video. Alright, now your video is all set. Click Expo bottom and wait for the software to get all the work together. You could also choose 4K and high quality to render the video with best quality. Make sure you have all your information verified. And now, click Start to export. Isn't it cool to make a GoPro movie yourself? Go sharing the video in your social media or with your friends. Well, this is the end of today's tutorial. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe our channel for our next video releases. We will share with you more powerful and useful tactics for video editing. Alright, we will see you soon in our next videos. Bye, love you guys.